today we're in a very rainy Tbilisi. So we're now in Karavashli wine cellar and we're about to do a wine tasting. I've only done one other wine tasting and that was in <laughs> Chloe's student accommodation. And we used it as pre-drinks before going out to Mercy Nightclub. So yeah, let's wine taste. You see this type of places, this cellar is from the 17th century. It's the oldest cellar in Tbilisi. It seems like everyone makes their own wine as well. Yeah, it's easier for us to make our own wine because the thing is that I don't want to say we drink a lot, but we drink <laughs> a good amount. When we harvest grape, we smash grape, we pour everything in here. Skin of the grape, seeds of the grape and juice. We don't have a culture to age wine. I really? think friends do. Yeah. 10 years, 20 years. Because there is no Georgian that can wait. <laughs> no. And this way of wine making is already 8,000 years old. And in France in 2017, they all agreed that the Georgia was the first country who started. Oh, really? Well, yes. yes. First wine that we're going to try will be the classic wine. We call it wedding wine, honestly, yeah. because on our weddings we drink like it's our last day. Thank you. Thank you. So this one is made the Georgian traditional way. And as you can see, they're different. Like colors are different. Yeah. And as I said, in Georgia, we don't separate skin. That's why it's darker. So our Georgian wines, they are way more oily, you know, way more creamy because of the skin of the grapes. Yeah. Thank you. And it does taste thicker, like yeah. it's... It does, yeah. 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 yeah, I've never noticed that in a wine actually before, that's interesting. So as I said, our biggest market is Russia. It's really close to us to yeah. begin with, and you don't pay a lot of taxes first. They don't really see like quality in the wine or whatever. They just enjoy drinking, and we can't sell 10 boxes of wine to the US, for example. Because it's ridiculously expensive, yeah. because the taxes are huge. The rosé is not Georgian wine. When we saw that everybody were going crazy about the rosé, we thought, why not? Jump on the bandwagon. Yeah, yeah let's try yeah. that. And we call it morning wine, day drinking <laughs> wine. <laughs> because in Georgia, we don't really enjoy coffee. This is that, our coffee. That, that's coffee. That's what we call coffee in this country. So. <laughs> Biggest thing about this wine is that in Georgia we love to drink, but we also love to eat. And everything Georgian is always salty, oily, full of fat, honestly, and full of spices. We have huge cultural red meat in Georgia. Every other food is not a food for us. Salad is not food for us because you eat salad after 10 minutes you're hungry again. You just balance the food. It's really closely connected to our religion. We drink it at the end of the service on Sundays in church. I don't know if we have new nails. Let's drink for that because I have new nails, whatever. So It's like there's a, a like a, a mold. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Is that right? Yes. 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 yes, yes. It's <laughs> what oak can give to the wine. This one uh, was aged for two years. So to make Mukuzani wine, grape should be strictly from this place and it should be aged in oak. Again, it's very rich, a very rich wine. The thing is that when we were building houses in Georgia, the first thing that was buried was the pot, <laughs> then cellar, yeah. and then on top of that house. That's how the Georgian houses are built. Yeah. First wine, then house. Wow. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. The real one we have, like down there, this is the real one. It's like 100 liters. You can open it and even see. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> this is it. 
Wow. This is 100 liter, as I said. Why is it beyond the floor? I kind of assumed it was like outside. This is Jaja. And Jaja is the skin of a grape, what is left after the wine. It translates the Jaja in Georgia, and we take that skin, 20% of the wine, and we distill it. But our Jaja is high in alcohol, but the sensations that you get is not as bad as it should be. So let's see. Thank you. Huh? Mm. That's lovely. Wow. <laughs> I was like 40 years old when I first <laughs> tried wine I was like 11 years old when I was like kind of toast master because our toast it can last for 30 minutes honestly and we have a special oh. toast master Tamada his name is Tamada in Georgia and we choose the Tamada like this uh, like the bigger belly he has the cooler he is because he can drink way more <laughs> Thank you. No, thank you. Yes. That was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, it's really informative. Thank you. Really thank you. Really thank you. I'm happy that you liked it because, as I said, that's what we are mostly proud of and obsessed with in Georgia. And when other people, non Georgians, are interested in the wine, it's like the biggest thing, honestly. And that we are able to share it. Yeah. That we are open to do that. It's like, I don't know, it's like the biggest thing. So I'm happy that you liked no, it. No, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, as a wrong Georgian, <laughs> I really do enjoy rosé. I really do. Like <laughs> but I will never say to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> I will delete that from the camera. <laughs>